the engine from the Pagani Zonda. Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome back to Six Cars. We are here on site in Las Vegas for the 2022 SEMA show. Um, hasn't even opened yet actually, but um, so many cool things I'm gonna show you guys this week. I mean, look, we've got a McLaren P1 that is set to be unveiled with so many crazy modified cars, JDMs, exotics, muscle cars, lifted trucks, a bit of everything. So again, hasn't even opened yet. We're here bright and early, but we have so much cool stuff planned for you guys. So stick around, it's going to be awesome. Absolutely no shortage of cool race cars here. At the Penn's oil booth, we have Rod Millen's Pikes Peak Hill Climb Toyota Tacoma. And I don't know if you've ever seen a truck as crazy as this. 1,000 horsepower hill climb monster. I believe it did win Pikes Peak back in the day, but um, it has been revived. It's been doing a lot of runs lately, uh, a lot of events. It's so, so cool to see it out here. Um, this is a car that is, I guess, pretty famous from video games too. I believe it was in Gran Turismo, I think an old uh, rally game for the original Xbox too. But um, so, so cool. Just a living legend, this 1,000 horsepower Tacoma hill climb car. So crazy. So just on the other side of the Tacoma we looked at, that Pike Speed car, we have sort of a new variant of it, the Honda Ridgeline Indy truck. And it is just one of the craziest things, maybe the craziest thing at SEMA. I mean, road form wheels, NSX brakes behind it. We have a look inside. We have the Recaro buckets, Willy Ann's harnesses, fully gutted. But here is the craziest part. It's not called the Indy truck for no reason. That is a Honda Indy car engine in the back. So they've developed this car with Hoonigan and it is just mental. Let's have a look at the back as well for you guys. Yeah, take a look at the rear wing and all the crazy arrow at the back. This huge cut-up diffuser. Of course, there's no back end of this. The truck bed gone, rear bumper gone, everything's taken out. Just insane. Get another look at that IndyCar engine. A lot of signatures on it, I guess. That's all the good people that have worked on this crazy, crazy build. But yeah, it is just mental. This is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. I'm, I'm putting it down now. This could be the craziest thing at the entire show. So big shout out to Honda and Hoon again. This is insane. Now I thought this looked like an Audi R8, and in fact it is, even though it kind of isn't at the same time, this did start as an Audi R8, but it's been turned into what they call a cart. So just ripping everything off, just welding cages to the side, no doors, no bodywork at the front or the back really. And yeah, it's fully twin turbo underground racing kit, just totally insane. And the parachute at the back, built for drag racing. I mean, look at how slick the rear tires are as well. Just crazy looking. And I guess this is almost, I don't even know if this is crazy by SEMA standards. We're still outside. We haven't even been inside the building yet. We're already seeing some crazy things out here, guys. So it's only gonna get crazier, I would think. But yeah, this twin turbo R8 cart is nuts. This looks particularly crazy. So again with that sort of modern and retro combination styling this E36 M3 Has been built with a full GTR conversion kit just looks mental so so good Definitely something that'd be racing in IMSA or Le Mans something like that the roll cage in the back fully stripped out And yeah, just check out how wide the back is there so, so cool. This kit looks amazing. I can't get enough of it. And that rear wing sticking out from the back with the big, big gurney flap on it. So cool. And the rotiform wheels are definitely a big, big hit. And just near the front entrance here to the main SEMA hall, or one of the main halls, a couple of silhouette kits on Lamborghinis. You've got the Huracan over here, and we've got the Aventador next to it, which just looks mental. Like, aside from it being like an, a millimeter off of the ground, obviously it's on air, but the back of it looks so crazy. It almost looks like a Le Mans prototype or something 
from the rear with that shark fin on it and that huge wide intakes on the back reminiscent of old 80s GT racers and the same goes for the Huracan here just as crazy again with the shark fin on the back you can just see the tires sticking through that exposed rear bodywork it is just so crazy looking If you couldn't tell already, Liberty Walk. It's a bit of a big theme here at SEMA. The Dub Customs booth, we got the C8 Corvette. We've got another Silhouette Huracan, but in between them, this is Liberty Walk's newest kit for the Lamborghini Urus. Yes, they even do SUVs. And I've gotta say, it looks pretty good. It's almost sort of similar to the newly unveiled Urus Performante. Sort of that carbon fiber hood and those slightly wider arches. Just a little bit crazier though, it is Liberty Walk, so they had to take it one step further, but it looks it looks pretty good, I think. And the license plate on this BMW 8 Series is very fitting, one of none, mainly because I have never ever seen a kit like this on an 8 Series. These cars are starting to become rare enough on their own, let alone a crazy wide body modify one, just like this, as crazy fender flares on it. Really, really love the livery too. Yeah, yellow fogs. That's a big win for me. Yeah, it just looks crazy. It's so amazing how many crazy cool builds are just sitting outside at SEMA. Can't wait to see what we have waiting for us inside. We haven't even made it inside yet. This is just wild. But yeah, that looks so cool, this 8 Series. How cool is this? At the Toyota stand, they've got a huge stand here. It's one of the main standouts is the Toyota GR Corolla Rally concept. So we all know, well, most of us know the WRC car is based on the Toyota Yaris, which is where the GR Yaris road car came from. But this looks to be a WRC version built off of the Corolla. So this huge flared arches at the back, crazy rear wing. Okay, I have a look at the back for you guys in a second once the crowd's clear, but this is really cool. Yeah, there's a look at the rear for us. That humongous rear wing generating the crazy downforce that these rally cars need to whip to the corner as fast as possible. So, so cool. Got this interesting quad exhaust design too. That's really cool. But yeah, rally cars are some of the coolest race cars on the planet. So that's awesome to see Toyota doing that. And just behind it is the car that it's based off of. So I try to get some more space here. There is the new GR Corolla, the circuit edition too, so the carbon fiber roof. And yeah, this thing's just ballistic. It's North America's version of the GR Yaris. Actually has more power than the Yaris. This is about 300, I believe, out of a 1.6 liter three cylinder. Just crazy. But yeah, this is, I don't know, probably the most hyped up enthusiast car we've had in a long, long time. Of course, manual, transmission only. That is a, huge huge hit that looks so good in person i've really been looking forward to seeing it now that i have i can say it looks awesome some other cool cars on display some concepts of sort at the toyota booth got larry chen there showing off his hks gr86 just behind that some drag variants of the gr supra which is pretty crazy you have a look at those meaty rear tires. Interesting to know how much power they're putting out, but the NHRA stick around the side is a pretty good indication that these are pretty high performance Supras meant to go very, very fast in a straight line. Okay, another candidate for one of my favorite cars here, this Stanceworks Ferrari 308. Wide body. I mean, obviously that's a trend here at seeing a wide body in cars, but it's always cool to see less traditional ones get the treatment done to it. And white on white is such a winner for this car. Let's have a quick look around it. Check out the front, the back, everything that makes this car so cool. So lots of cool things on it. Obviously full race interior bucket seats, quick release Tonada wheel, the Rita dogfight. Got the sequential shifter on it. 
I mark the wheels. I'm going to go on a limb. They sort of look like Rega Masters, which would be fitting because it is Honda Swat. That four cylinder is so crazy. Yeah, having a look at the back, just under the rear wing, see the badging no longer says 3 way GTB, 244 GTK for that crazy K series swap. A lot of cars here, specifically Ferraris, that Ferrari themselves would hate, but come on, that is too cool. This is so, so cool looking. This is a 997 RWB. It's obviously RWB, more well known for making wide bodies out of the classic 911s, but they have jumped into water cool as of late. And this 997 kit looks amazing. It's almost like, um, sort of like a 997 GT3 cup car. That's the uh, vibe I'm getting from it, but it's so thick, so wide, looks so cool. It even had a bit of like almost Gunther work flare with those retrofitted modern headlights on it too. Super cool. we found maybe one of the wildest cars at the show. I'd say top five at least, right? Got the Hoonigan Pegasus. There's the sticker to confirm it. So Ken Block's insane 911 hill climb car that he built for Pikes Peak. We're gonna get closer, attack all the crowds, get a better look at the inside for you. And we're gonna have a look at the gutted out interior inside the Pegasus. Take a look at the back. Of course, that massive, massive hill climb rear wing. You need all the arrow you can get. Big diffuser on the back. Just look at how crazy this thing is. It's nice that they took the engine cover off of it for us as well, which is sitting right over here. Yeah, the Pegasus from Hoonigan and Ken Block is just mental. the Sabon carbon stand. This is always a good one to check out because they always have some cool new parts. Uh, their hoods are obviously on display. One of the more well-known carbon fiber manufacturing companies out there. Obviously this new Zed looks fantastic. I'm on a mission to try and find all the new Zeds here at the show. Yeah, that looks so good. The carbon fiber hood, the raised wheels. Super cool. And just on the other side of the Z, new WRX. This one looks really cool. I know the styling's pretty controversial on the new one, but Sebon has put on some very nice parts to it. That carbon fiber hood, of course, front lip. But this is definitely what a new version of an S the STI would look like, even though they're not actually making it. Again, leave it to the tuners and the modifiers to go about doing it themselves. The Sevon carbon fiber rear wing. I think this looks really, really good. I wish Subaru would sort of go back on the original plan and make an STI version out of this, because if it looked like this, I think a lot of people would be on board for it. So good job, Sevon, for that one. So many cool cars here in the Toyota Tread Pass. It's like a mini show on its own. We've got the sort of Dijon 240Z, got the Sabre Designs Toyota GR86, that custom Ford Ranchero, I believe it is, not an El Camino Ranchero, got the Ruby Star Wide Body 911, there's a few more cars just down the aisle though I really want to show you guys some really special stuff here, let's check it out. I was just thinking, we haven't really seen too many RWBs here at SEMA, but here we have Yoshiwara in this beautiful gold finish. The special RWB edition Bride Lomax bucket seats, Takata harnesses.
Here we have a full Midnight Purple Carbon Fiber R32 GTR tuned by HKS, so the standard RB26 is upgraded to an RB30 for maximum power. But yeah, full carbon fiber body, full carbon fiber Recaro bucket seats as well, full carbon interior. Crazy, crazy build. All right, I wanted to show you guys what I think is probably the craziest car here at SEMA. I've said that a few times, but I don't think I'm gonna top it anymore. This is an FT Mazda RX-7. Obviously, the kit's pretty crazy, designed by the Kaiza on Instagram. But what's crazy about it is what's sitting under the hood. That is a Mercedes M120 V12. If it sounds familiar, well, that's because it's the engine from the Pagani Zonda sitting in this RX-7. That is the wildest thing I've ever seen. Definitely the craziest engine swap you could possibly do. Um, definitely the first in the world. First in the world for this body kit too. So let's have a look around, try to get through the crowds and check it out. Just another look at the Zonda V12 sticking out of the RX-7. So yeah, full fiberglass kit, brand new design by the Kaiza. Looks like we've got some teen coilovers hiding back there. Take a look to the side. And yeah, full slick tires on it. Toyo proxies. Just amazing. Have a look at those custom harnesses. Sequential shifter, the Hot Wheels steering wheel. What an amazing build. Let's have a look at the back of the RX-7. It's got those hips, almost like the Liberty Walk cars we're looking at before, those kind of super silhouette style. But it looks really good. This pistachio color is also very, very nice. And we've got the matching roll cage painted in the back. Just amazing. Here's a car I'm sure we are all very familiar with, the DDE Aventador SVJ, Gintani exhaust. We all know that one very well. And just beside that, got the 1016 Industries kitted McLaren 720S. Believe we saw this at Exotics on Broadway. Uh, you can check out my video from that event. But get a cooler look at the full blue carbon bodywork that they've done to this as well have the blue interior too as they try to get through the reflections and yeah the rear wing on this kit actually looks really really good too another svj here at the gintani stand i'm sure you guys all know gintani by now again we've got another dd car the 720 gtr these guys are putting gintani on the map of course We've seen a couple of Gintani cars on the channel, actually. The white SVJ we saw in Yorkville shooting flames. Absolutely insane. But yeah, these guys do some crazy, crazy exhaust work. And their cars at the stand here look very, very cool. I just noticed the back of the SVJ is exposed to you. You can see just the detail and how crazy these Gintani exhaust systems look. All the work that goes into them. Check out the pipes on the back of the DDE 720 GTR. Just massive flame spitting pipes. Crazy looking. I wanted to show you guys another one of my personal favorites, R32. Can never go wrong, but check out all of the time attack arrow on this thing. It's a full carbon fiber body too, AP racing brakes, TE 37s. Interior just completely gutted out. So, so cool. Have a look at the back. Massive rear wing sticking out. Just crazy. Huge diffuser. Like, look at how far out it sticks from the rear bumper. Just insane. Can't even imagine how fast this thing must be, what kind of laps it puts down. But that is so cool. 
There's another new Z. Just keep adding to the tally. But beside that, I need to keep giving love to the new WRX because these kits that I'm seeing are really making this new body style grow on me. This is the new Varus kit. Varus cars are generally pretty over the top, uh, a little louder than some of the other kits. But what I really like about them is they do flow very well with the original body lines. So not the traditional bolt-on, like, over fenders wide body. Varus does seem to put in, go that little extra mile to keep to the original body style. But yeah, that looks really, really good. Again, another winner for the new WRX. So, another new car I was expecting to see here at SEMA, and now we've got one, is the new Acura Integra. So this one looks really good. It's at the teen booth, so obviously sitting on teen coilovers, Graham light wheels, and this crazy body kit uh, that was designed by Sarah Choi. Looks really, really cool. Uh, it sort of reminds me of previous gen Integra Type Rs. There's a bit of DC2, a bit of DC5 to it. And obviously those flared arches look super sick, but it's this rear wing that is definitely the dead giveaway to the DC2 and the DC5s. Yeah, that looks really, really good, actually. Alright, so, so, uh, 89? Alright, check it out. So Dodge brought out the heavy hitter here, the Daytona, with the Hellcat engine in it. Super crazy. I don't know how many times I've said super crazy at this show so far yet, but probably a lot. I'm sure you guys are keeping track, but come on. I mean, what's the, is there a better way to describe the stuff that we've seen so far? But yeah, this just looks so, so cool. Just a little further from the, the Hellcat fitted Daytona, we have the drag version of the Dodge Durango Hellcat. Oh my goodness. I don't know, Dodge is going all out at their booth, guys. This is just wild. This is crazy. I think it looks like a Cuda, yes. You would think it's an old version, but I am pretty certain this is actually built on a new Challenger chassis because that interior looks pretty distinctly new. I believe this is built on a new Hellcat Challenger. It's pretty crazy. So someone is just taking it upon themselves to revive the Plymouth Cuda. And honestly, it looks really good. Something that could actually happen. And here's a car that I've been looking for since the second we got to this show. This is the Ferrari F40 with the new Inosa Tech wrap. Again, a collaboration with Anti-Social Social Club, the clothing brand. This is their new rose water color. So, almost looks like the pink pig, like the old Porsche race cars. But I've never ever seen it on a Ferrari, let alone an F40 of all things. That looks incredible. It actually works really, really well. It's not just a silly color. It looks really, really good. Especially on the gold multi-spokes. So, so cool. Yeah, just have a look at the back of the Rosewater F40. It looks just as good from the back. You can see the exhaust through the grill mesh. Just amazing. So the F40 is my all-time favorite Ferrari, and I have no problem admitting that this pink looks so, so cool on it. So yeah, the other anti-social social club collab color just down the row from the Rosewater F40. We have the Spectrum Liberty Walk Aventador. So same color as the P1 that we saw outside. Just a different car we're seeing it on now. And it's actually a little different than the P1, obviously. And a little different from the other Liberty Walk Aventadors we've seen. I haven't seen one with that crazy triangular roof snorkel before. 
and the Brixton forged fan style wheels look really good too. Yeah, another really, really cool color. Just unveiled here at Street Hunter. Two brand new kits, one for the Subaru BRZ and the other keep adding to our new Z Tally, Z35. Both look amazing. They're both sitting on HRE wheels, so TJ Hunt's doing a really, really good job with these body kits. Yeah, those HREs, so, so good. But yeah, you can see the fender flares are just very, very nicely accented with the body style. Same for the BRZ, it almost has a Varus kind of style to it, I feel. But yeah, they both look awesome. Have a look at this Resto Mod 300 SL, everybody. It's sort of a wide, yeah, definitely a wide, wide, it's sort of, I don't know what I'm talking about. But look at the interior, it's just incredible. Look at that. It's almost like terracotta, except they've fitted sort of newer elements to it in the inside as well. And a beautiful color and looks really, really good with the blue too. And carbon fiber side blades give it that sort of new flair. And check it out. We've got the luggage trunk in the back too. This thing is serious. Really, really cool. Here is a crazy, crazy, believe, believe, pandem Cayman. I love this color, but yeah, air ride suspension obviously back there, that glass engine cover, and yeah, sort of the Tiffany blue roll cage in the back. I really like this. Five spoke SSR wheels look really, really good on it too. Take you around to the front. That's a fantastic looking car. Go street legal tribute to the BRE Racing Datsun 510. Very nice, the period correct four spoke wheels. Yeah, it's just a timeless livery, honestly. Um, this is what the 370Z anniversary, 50th anniversary edition, I believe it was was based off of is the BRE Racing livery, just iconic. Go have a look at the Busy Moto 935. This paint scheme looks so good in person. The gray and sort of magenta pink, I will call it. Yeah, fully got it out interior. As you can see, a lot of cars at the SEMA show we've seen have had the race car look to it. To check out the front here on the wheels, got those turbo fans over the Brixton Forged. So, so good. Yeah, you can see at the front here, it's got the um, headlights just like the new 935, except it's got the classic body styling to it all over the rest of the car. That slant nose look. So, so cool. Now, I'm not sure how many of you are into the whole electric car wave or the fact that people are swapping out old muscle cars for electric units, but this is pretty wild. It's a 1972 Plymouth Satellite. That is a Tesla Ludicrous large sport drive unit with a 100 kilowatt battery pack. So this thing is good for zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds and just over 600 horsepower. So I don't know whether you like it or not, the electric styling, you cannot deny the performance and that just looks so, so crazy. Coming out of a 72 satellite. Okay. We've got a blue chrome BMW M4 competition. That's not why I'm showing it to you, not because of the wrap, not because of the forced carbon fiber, but because of the back of it. It has been fully converted to a pickup truck back end. So I would call this the BMW El Camino. <laughs> so crazy looking. I think it actually looks pretty good, um, all things considered. 
like the G80, G82 is sort of a controversial design, but I don't know. I think a truck would suit it pretty well. Never, never going to happen, but still, nice to see the custom build. And this is SEMA, so obviously I have to give a shout out to some of the crazy, crazy trucks. I mean, the lift kits on these are just insane. <laughs> and check out the shocks and how much detail goes into the suspension work and everything is just insane. We have a look at this Ford Bronco over here. Just crazy. I mean, I don't even know how big these wheels are, but... The things are just massive. Check out this dually Ram 3500 here too. It's so massive, so big. The white and purple looks really cool too. Obviously, the boss has to be pointed out. These crazy spiky lug nuts on it, but yeah. We have to look at some of these trucks. They're just too crazy to ignore. Yeah, these are just, they just get crazier and crazier as we move along these trucks. I mean, this is, I, I like the color on this actually, this baby blue with the gray, but um, wondering what the wheel sizes were before, these four Giatos are 42 inch wheels. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Look at this Liberty Forged, also 42 inch wheels. This exhaust is just insane. Stars and stripes on the back on the cover, all right. <laughs> just crazy looking another dually too like six 42 inch wheels i mean that can't be cheap but it looks crazy well guys we're just heading out from sema now it's been a long long day uh it's probably the biggest show i've ever been to to be honest covered all of it or everything that i know of what an amazing show. I'll probably break this up into many, many different videos, but um, it's my initial send off to you guys. I really hope you enjoy all the content. It's absolutely insane how many crazy cars were here. And yeah, the um, super crazy counter must be really high from how many times I've said that. But yeah, thank you so much guys for tuning in. And again, I'll be breaking this up into different parts. I guess best modified cars, best supercars, things like that. And we'll go from there. So whatever video I end up using this clip for, thanks for watching. Stick around. There will be even more and more stuff to come.